anniversary of pizza? Is it really? Mm -hmm. And later on in the show, we'll be showing you some very bizarre but delicious ways you can eat pizza all day long. Ah, sounds pretty good to me, but while you're tossing that around, I'd like to throw in that today's music day, and we're really glad to have that two terrific guys. The last time we were here, they were fantastic. The Boys Club! Mm -hmm. You know, it looks so easy in the restaurant. They just Roll it up and it becomes a pizza, minus the mm. sauce and cheese, of course. Well, you know, right. I don't think you should go into this pizza business. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say pizza business? Oops. And right yeah. on cue. Everybody, please welcome pizza expert Dominic McCarty. <laughs> and now Dominic is going to show us the proper technique for making pizza. <laughs> Sounds great. Just happened to have everything set here on his table rolled out by Robert, a member of the studio audience. Well, now, Robert, have you ever made a pizza from scratch before? Nope. No? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can show us? I think yeah. I can show you guys. Great. We'll take this dough first, and we'll make a crust on this nice pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll show you this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, after we've got a nice crust <laughs> made, we'll slap the middle, smack it left and right, toss it well, once. Well, it gets bigger Ooh. in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Toss it twice on the hand. It doesn't take at all, is it? Flowers are great. Impressive. All right, sure. I don't want to see my Let's start on that crust. Okay. Right on the edge, man. I'm going to be a pizza maker. I can tell already. I hope so. Come on, Robert. Robert's got to hang him in, I think. Oh, yeah, he's doing great. Okay, guys, let's smack that middle. Ready? Okay, take him up and go left to right. I got my hand printed. Left to right. All right, on the hands, on the hands. Ready? On the hand. Let's toss them. Ready? Let's toss them up in the air. Whoa! Whoa. Very nice. Good, Robert. He's got a better one. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> good job, Randy. What do you think? Did you do a good job or what? Huh? <laughs> good job. I'm going to steal clear of Brandy, I'll tell you that. Well, I think you're the only expert here. You know? Dominic, so. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Don't forget, later on, bizarre but delicious ways to make pizza. And now it's time for a special cultural treat, the celestial harmonies of our very own Key Mouse Club Choir. <laughs>
In 1889, Jeremiah Samuels leaves his lunch inside his desk and stinks it up. 1924, Ginger Brainbottom sticks her chewing gum under the same desk. 1958, Bobo Bernstein carves his initials onto the desk with a sharp end of his compass. It was the last draw. This desk was mad as heck, and it's not going to take it anymore. It's out for revenge. It's out for blood. It's out for your extra pencils. It's Desk of the Darn. Dare to sit in it. No, well, don't you may not change desk. But, Miss Crump, I don't like the looks of that desk. Your seat assignment has been given, young man, so please sit down. He was the first victim. Ah! Ah! But not the last. Please go back to your death. Death? Ah! The four walls of the classroom could not contain this fearsome furniture. Out on the loose, it terrorized the school. Could no one stop this wooden thing? <laughs> Thrills. <laughs> Kills. <laughs> Algebra. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to reach for your map book. The Desk of the Dark. Coming soon to a classroom near you. For match points. Now, in the last episode, the camp search party found Bonnie, who was stranded. But she seemed so surprised that everyone came looking for her. Yeah. She thought no one would notice she was even missing. Let's watch part seven of our club movie, Match Point. <laughs> When I made up my mind to. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice job. Thanks. <laughs> the kids here are really nice, Mother. I mean, they've been great to me. Well, I know, but I. All right, I will. Yes, I'll do as you say. Mother, I had an accident. No, I'm okay, really. Just twisted my ankles off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I mean, just a slight sprain. It'll be fine in a couple of days or so. I'm gonna work real hard. I will make you proud of me. I will do good. Bye, Mother. Love you, too. How's your uncle? How do you think it is? It hurts. Yeah, I once broke my arm and it was very painful. Look, this is a really interesting conversation, but uh, shouldn't you be on the court right now? Yeah, I should. But I sneak away to bring you some apples. Why? 
Because I thought you'll be hungry soon. You didn't come for breakfast. Yeah, we shouldn't have bothered. I don't want them. What made you be in this way, Bonnie? Everybody admires your talent, so... But you give people social teasers. Okay, fine. I have said enough. I mean, he's not bad enough the guy runs five miles a day. He also has to swim another five. Yeah, his body's gonna be all used up before he's 19. You're dogging it, Barton. Give me another 15 laps. <laughs> I don't know what you guys call those things, swimsuits. You'll never swim in them. <laughs> Took me half an hour to fly my sunscreen and get comfortable. I'm at least a bit interested in swimming. Agreed. <laughs> the last thing I want to do right now is get wet. <laughs> Oh, get that dog out of here! Yeah, that's a minute. No, he's not. Nosey's great. He's got a new trick. You guys want to see it? <laughs> okay, okay. You talk me into it. But for this trick, I need a volunteer to pretend he's drowning. How about it, Bart? I'll pass. I'm not too anxious to get teeth marks in my neck. Ah, uh, he's a coward. I'll volunteer myself. Now, remember, this is just a drill. Okay? Ready? Help me, Nosey! Help me! I'm drowning! Nosey! Help, Nosey! <laughs> the only way that dog will save you is if you got a T-bone in your mouth. <laughs> Come on, Joel. Try it once. You'll love this stuff. Personal guarantee. One little sip, Uncle. That's all I promise. Well, that's all it's going to take. <laughs> I got it. All right, it's a new cereal called Runkles, right? And the slogan goes, Breakfast of Runkles. Uh... All right, all right, all right. Runkles has riches. Is that all you ever think about, is making a buck? Why do you think I'm killing myself playing this game? It's gonna make me rich. Where's your pride, Runkle? I mean, you really don't just want to sell yourself. Why not? Your dad did. Back off, Bart. It's true. Jason Stroud made serious bucks selling himself. That's why you grew up in a Malibu mansion and learned tennis on a private court. I had to wait in line to learn on a city court with cracks in it. You ready for that rematch, pal? You name the time and place. Right here, right now. What's going on? Bad Martin Jr. having the rematch. Pass it on, but keep it down. We don't want to wake up Delaware. Rematch? Well, don't start it out. Oh, come on. Well, what is it? Is that a mean that fire drill or something? No, it's better than that. It's the big shootout. I think you're on. Okay, well, in today's Bizarre But Delicious, we'll be paying tribute to the ever-popular pizza. Right, it happens to be the 100th anniversary of the Noble Pizza. And I say noble because it was actually created for nobility. That's right. It was created in Naples by, what's his name, Raffaele Esposito for Queen Margareta. And it was created to feed all the people in the royal palace with toppings people. that would be the color of the Italian flag. Like, see, the tomatoes were red, and the mozzarella cheese was white, and the basil is green. But a hundred years later, the toppings for the pizza are limited only to your imagination. And the pizza can be a bizarre but delicious meal any time of the day. For instance, the yeah. breakfast pizza, Frank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Breakfast pizza? <laughs> breakfast pizza. Yeah. Right. Breakfast pizza. See, you have your eggs, your bacon, right, cheddar cheese. All right, so eggs. A little bit yeah. of bacon. I mean, what I don't know. Eggs, this is a new concept. Cheese, I'm telling you. No, because it's the same food that you eat in the morning just okay. on a pizza. 
Okay. Well, all right. So you got eggs there. So this is dirt you have here. What is this? Potting is soil. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Okay. Right, right. Bacon can make bits. it easier I'll to spread that. there. That's not much different than sausage. That's underneath. right. Is this looking good or what? Do you this like this audience? What do you think? Great. Oh, good. Isn't that great? That great? I'm not sure. Well, okay. That would wake me up in the morning. Now, so. this is breakfast. So. Do you have That's a right. uh, perhaps a lunch pizza for us? That's right, Fred. All right, let's see it. Tuna fish. Pizza. <laughs> tuna fish. They're, they're tuna fish pizza. Right now, Italians are, are changing channels. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Listen to what it is. It does not smell like any pizza I've ever smelled. Tuna it's fish. Well, see, mainly, you would just look at the pizza crust as bread dough. Like a big open face sandwich? Open face sandwich. Okay. Try right. buy and You that. can get biscuit or, you know, bread now, dough. Did you actually make this dough yourself? Are you throwing it up like this? Right. Dominic told me. You got caught in the lights. <laughs> no, I couldn't. There's no way. Uh, really, what I did, though, I just got uh, frozen pizza crust. Yeah. From uh, the nearest grocery store. So then you must have a dinner pizza. No, Fred, something that is way more important than dinner. What's that? Very, very important. After school snack pizza. Ah, you're right. Just the fourth meal of the very day important. after school snack. Right. right. You know, you have your peanuts, your popcorn. Ooh. You got your fruit. Yeah. Fruit, okay. Yeah. Very healthy. Right. All right. Very, very healthy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, you're not going to put tomato sauce gonna... in there. No, not tomato sauce. What? No way, Fred. We're going to put... Chocolate sauce. Ooh. Yeah. All right. All right. Isn't this great? All right, you know what? I think we need some people up here to test these pizzas. I think you have so. some volunteers? Definitely. So Definitely. you two come on up. Yeah, them two. Come on up. All right, now what's your, what's your names? Jason. Jason and? Leah. 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 All right. All right. Why don't you, uh, do we need to cut this one? I think so. Get it here. All right, you will get the, it's Jason, right? Yeah. You get to test the uh, breakfast pizza. Hey, you grab Jason. that one. Go for it, big guy. <laughs> All right. He's actually eating it. What do you think? <laughs> Did you catch that, ladies and gentlemen? It was... <laughs> okay. It's, 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 it, but it's going down, though, all right? Yeah? All right. <laughs> now, you get, you get, get to... This reaction. Yeah? All right. Now, now, Leah, you get to test the lunch pizza. Okay. Let's take, get it for tuna pizza. Just a little turn there. There you go. Take that. It's a big slice. Help you. Just knock yourself out on I mean, this slice. The messier, the better, Leah. <laughs> She didn't even hesitate. I mean, what do you think? Good. Good? Good. Like it? Yeah. Keep eating it. You can enjoy that it. That is great. That is great. Okay, now, now, wait a minute. We only have two kids, three pizzas. You know what that I means, know Fred. Happen. I have That's right. Pizza. You have to go for right. it. You take your, your pick. What All right. snack you want here. All right. Hey, Joe. Yes, Fred. Joe is our director. Can we have a drum roll on this? Sure. Here we go. <laughs> Fred, it's actually very good, but it's very sloppy. Oh, boy. This That's is what makes drawback. it good, though. That's what makes it good. You know, I great. think Senor Esposito did not have this in mind when he created pizza. That's right. Well, That's let's right. salute Senor Esposito and his invention. So let's say it together. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Sometimes people ask me what kind of music I like to listen to and who my favorite groups are. Well, today's guests answer both questions, and they're also two of the cutest guys I've ever seen. Performing their smash hit, I Remember Holding You, please welcome today's Mickey Mouse Club Music Day guest, Boys Club! <laughs> Memories we choose, choices that we've made for love. Voices in my head, they call me away. You were right beside me all along. Maybe I should have known it, maybe I should have seen. But I stayed lost in my dreams. Now that you're gone I remember holding you The fear of us to right And now I find I'm reaching out In the middle of the night All the things I should have said Now my chance is gone All alone I'm reaching out Even though I know it's wrong So wrong Yeah 
Let's answer them. Let's answer them. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Does uh, anybody have a question for the Boys Club? Do you? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. Um, do either of you have girlfriends? And if not, what kind of girls do you like? Go <laughs> 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 um, ahead. I've been going with the girl for a while. And um, basically what I look in a girl is honesty, first of all. And that's honest with herself and very independent. How about you? Uh, I don't have a girl as of yet. I'm working on it. No? <laughs> uh, what I look in, in for in a girlfriend is a, definitely a sense of independence, somebody who's articulate and intelligent, and someone I can talk to for hours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Someone anybody, I can laugh with who I'm thinks I'm funny. Anybody else have any more questions? You have one? Um, yes. I was wondering if you guys are going to be releasing any records anytime soon? Uh, yeah, we, we've, got, uh, we've got more singles coming off the, the current album right now. We've been out promoting the album for about, oh, but... We've been out for about six months, but we haven't seen home in about three months. So we've been very busy. And uh, until we get a chance to run the course of this record, we probably won't have any time to do any more studio stuff. So did somebody have a question back here? Did you have one? Um, are you interested in getting into acting? Uh, yeah, basically, I'm interested in getting into a lot of things other than just singing and so forth. But right now, we're, I'm... We're both very busy in doing what we're doing right now. It's good to have a goal and everything, but I we just want to be successful in what we're doing right now. Yeah, you need a lot of focus to be successful, and so we're trying to focus our energy right now on Boys Club. Thank you, guys. You were really terrific. Thank you. Yeah. See you real soon. Day one. 
Why? Because we like you. Transportation provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline for kids and Mickey Mouse Club. At Delta, we love to fly, and it shows. Just who will that special guest be? Someone famous? Someone from another planet? Find out tomorrow on the Mickey Mouse Club.